About four months ago, we did some loaded potato skins. Yeah, we sure did. We call them smashed potato skins. Man, they hit the spot. And then just recently, my wife sent me a picture of something similar, but we think it's a game changer. 100% made out of hash brown, hash brown patties. patties. We're calling these loaded, loaded hash, hash brown, brown patties. patties and kind of a loaded potato skin or loaded baked potato style. Sure, exactly. Want to see us knock this one out on the griddle? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's I one know. of them. That's the other one. one. I'm the <laughs> other one. All right, so we're gonna hit the ground running. First things first, Cannon, bring it on over here. Let's take a look at the groceries. Brett, walk us through the groceries like you do. Well, here at the star of the show, we've got these hash brown patties. They're absolutely amazing. Just a little side note, people that say if you want to get the ones that taste like McDonald's, this is the brand <laughs> to get. And of course, well, we season these up. Anytime we do potatoes, we go to the original Uncle Steve shake. We love we it. If you haven't done it on potatoes, do yourself a favor and do just that. Then we're topping with Mexican style cheese. We've got chives, we've got sour cream. Keeping it simple. I think we say it every time we use anything of Uncle Steve's. First of all, one of the coolest guys in the entire world. Steve is amazing, but Uncle Steve's original, we use this in all our potatoes. And it's not just us, the family devours it. I go through bottles all the time, so this one I've got plenty for this cook. We love it. There is a link to Uncle Steve Shakes down below, uh, and uh, you gotta check it out and go see how many amazing he's got products a, he's got. He's got a bunch so, of rubs for yep. barbecue, everything. It's Something great. for everything, it seems. So let's go ahead and get on it, like blue ball on it. So Brett, I'm just gonna go ahead and we'll start slaying these. We're gonna, yeah, we're yeah. gonna do a light fry, so we wanna get a little bit of oil on there. We're gonna go ahead and do the whole pack, right? Yep, we're gonna do all these. Now these are straight from Frozen, so we're not worried about, we could bomb out if we needed to, but we're not really worried about that. So all we're doing is just bringing these up to temp, making sure they cook through, and that is gonna be it. And pro tip, don't season yet. <laughs> yeah, we've tried to season, and the seasoning will uh, start to darken so it makes it look burned. It's not burned. But it just makes it a little bit better just to know that. All right, so we'll give this about two, three minutes on the side and flip it and we'll keep flipping. And then when we get close to the end, we'll season them up and we'll start dressing them. Yep. Coming up on two minutes right now, we're gonna go ahead and give them a flip. We should start seeing a little browning going on. So Brett, I'll take care of this one. We can do it. <laughs> we can duel it. We can duel it. There we go. Yeah, we're master you. flippers here. There we go. Ah. I flipped it so good, it went double. There we go. Okay, so two more minutes. Now the good thing about what's happening, aside from getting the browning on the outside like this, is it's starting to soften, so we're gonna cook through the inside. And that's all we're waiting for. So when it's done, gets close, we'll crank the heat down or off, and we'll start building. I'm imagining a layer of cheese on the bottom to start melting. Yes, and bacon. I think like you said, a little bit of that bacon. Then we'll hit it with sour cream, some chives, and more of that cheese. Yep. And we'll build them right here so we'll see them nice and pretty. All right, so on to round two. We had to switch to the iPhone because unfortunately the GoPro is having some issues, been having ongoing issues. Probably time for a new GoPro is what I'm thinking. Yep. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna season these up because now we're gonna just flip them one more time. Ooh, oh, that's, that's okay, quick. hey, you know what? And nothing wrong with a little extra seasoning. That's right. If you know, if you realize how good this Uncle Steve's is, right. you would not be upset either. There we go. So we're gonna give these a flip. Oh man. And Brett, I would lay some seasoning on these before we start bit dressing that. Okay. Oh man. Oh, look at those ones. So this one is clearly, this is the cooler zone here. You get to know your zones where it cooks hot, where it cooks cold. Uh, not cooks cold, but cool. where it's uh, cooler. Okay, so hold up. I wanna give these just a little bit of space between. The space between. Now we're just gonna season this side, and then this is where we're at in the in the process. It's time to build. Uh, oh man! So no viral footage on this. We'll just do this live. Cheese first. Yep. Go ahead and put the cheese, and then biaka. Here's what I'm thinking, Brett. Got enough cheese? Oh yeah. Oh, warm up the bacon. Good yes. call. It'll help melt the cheese too. Yep. Oh, the seasoning smells so good. Did you get this crumbled bacon up there? Oops. With the packet, <laughs> the fresher, the freshener. There we go. This will not take long at all to warm up this bacon. All right, so Brett wanted a little bit of this bacon on underneath to melt in with that cheese. And then we'll get the rest on in the sour cream with the chives. Cheddar, cheese and bacon, sour cream and chives. Loaded baked potato, you can't believe your eyes. They're made with potatoes, potatoes and skins, skins that are real. Fred's from potatoes, Keebler. Baked potato, baked potato. Baked potato. Mm -hmm. potato will kill. Okay, so Brett, at this point, we gotta turn this off. So okay. we don't burn those. The bottom side will look a little bit darker because of the seasoning. 
Hopefully but at this point, that. but at this point, all we're gonna do, Brett, is we're going to build. Brett, yep. Let's hit it with some sour cream. Oh, right there on the dang, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then go ahead, you can follow me with some more of the bacon and chives. Dude, I am not gonna lie, these look spectacular. Yes, they do. Just a little bit of chive goes a long way. Well, we had to let them cool down just a little bit because we couldn't even grab them with our gloved hands. Not that the gloves really do anything. Brett, yes. took his gloves off. I did. All right, go ahead and grab them, my guy. <laughs> took his gloves off. Oh, because then I wanted to look and see which one I wanted. I want all of all right. them. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's that's touchable. A, it's grabbable. Grabbable. Just like you. Hey. All right, well, there it is in oh, all its glory. It's glory, and I am super excited oh, to dig oh into this. Uh, you know what, without further ado, let's just get into it. Like we say, it can look amazing. These look absolutely amazing. Like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh, yeah, well, we've mentioned it, but can I get a smell yet? Smell, yeah, you can. But if it doesn't taste amazing, this, this is all for not. Me. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my brother. Mmm. <laughs> oh, there it is again. Oh my gosh. I don't know that I could honestly put all the work into a loaded potato skin when this was so simple. This is the best loaded baked or loaded potato anything I've ever had. So I was in the process of offering Canon one when our camera went gaboots. Thank heavens the kids are giving us their camera to borrow. Canon, you gotta try one. Yeah. In the meantime, He's I gonna be off camera trying this. I finished mine. I ate the bones. <laughs> mm. I think I'm gonna finish it right now. Here's the deal, Brett. I envision tailgating with these. Oh. You get two, three packages of these, throw these on the griddle. Look how quick that was. Crowd pleaser. Total time. Oh, yeah. A less than time, 10 minutes? Less than 10 minutes, yeah. but with all the ingredients, everything on it, everybody's going to come and grab one. Yep. What do you think? Yeah. Tailgating, these are good for camping. You got a camper, mm -hmm. you got a little griddle with you. Throw these down, baby. We've used these hash brown patties before for a breakfast sandwich, mm -hmm. which is incredible for the breakfast sandwiches. You could add a little bit of egg on here for a breakfast if you want to. Yeah, oh, you could. One thing we're talking about, I'm like the hot sauce, dude. We didn't have the hot sauce out here. Yeah, yeah Florida man's lunacy hot oh, sauce. Oh man, so, so crazy. But listen, the, the key to this one, I, the flavor saver on all this is that Uncle Steve's original shake. Hey, that you is so you good. You taste it in the bacon, you taste it in the sour cream, you taste it on the, you know, on the, uh, the patty. <laughs> yeah. you, you taste it in the art. You do. You all know that we love those of you that stick around throughout the video for us. So we always have a secret message that we want you to put in your comments. So if you have stuck it out with us this long, thank you so much. And make sure to include in your comment, I'm, I'm a baddie, baddie. give me a hash brown patty. Or you can just shorten and say, I'm a baddie. And just we'll know that <laughs> you stuck around. I'm a baddie, hashtag I'm a baddie. <laughs> hashtag I'm a baddie. for life. <laughs> baddie for our life. What makes you a baddie? Just having some loaded hash brown patties. That's what makes us a baddie. <laughs> right. But we really do appreciate you sticking around. And also, if you did like this video, if it gave you an idea of something else you can make on your griddle, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook and Smashed. Smashed. Both are available on Amazon or anywhere. Books are so Love that we get to come and do this. Especially this. Shout to Jen, your wife, for coming up with this right. one. Send me that this picture. That was amazing. awesome. Yes. Man, aside from coming and knocking out bangers like these loaded hash brown patties, yes. which you have to do on your griddle. Try it. Whilst we do all this. Because all we do is twin. No, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.